Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Minder and I'm an Inside Applications Engineer for Keysight Technologies. In this video, I will demonstrate how to extract the xconfig file from the E5515C wireless communications test set, also known as the 8960. This file is necessary when upgrading the hardware on your E5515C so you can take advantage of the latest features found in our current test and lab applications. The 8960 configuration reader can be downloaded from any E5515C test or lab application software download site. Simply save this file to your desktop, double click on the icon, and install it. It will set up all the necessary directories. There are two ways to connect your PC to the test set. A direct connection allows you to read the configuration from one test set. In addition to the test set, you will need a computer with LAN capabilities and a LAN cable. This is the example we will be using in the video. You can connect to either the test set's front panel data port or to the rear panel LAN port. If you use the test set's front panel data port, a standard LAN cable must be connected between the rear panel Ethernet to front panel and LAN port connectors. The test set is equipped with a suitable LAN jumper cable already in place. If you have a new computer, you can use either a standard LAN cable or the crossover LAN cable. If you have an older computer which does not have an auto sensing LAN, you should use the crossover LAN cable included with the test set's application installation kit. If that is no longer available, then any LAN crossover cable should work. If you have multiple test sets and a suitable TCP IP network, you can read configurations from each test set on the network without having to change LAN cable connections. You have the choice of using the test set's front panel data port or rear panel LAN port. Again, if you use the test set's front panel data port, a standard LAN cable must be connected between the rear panel Ethernet to front panel and LAN port connectors. Connect the test set to the network using a standard LAN cable. Do not use a LAN crossover cable. Please refer to the 8960 Config Reader help for a detailed procedure on configuring the LAN settings on both your PC and E5515C. Now that we have our IP addresses set up, we can test the LAN connection. We'll open an internet browser window, and we'll enter in the IP address of our test set, and in this case, it's 192.168.0.15. Press the Enter key. When you see this screen, you know you're connected to the test set. If you cannot connect to the test set, see the troubleshooting section in the 8960 Config Reader Help. We'll now open up the 8960 config reader, and we type in the IP address of our test set, again, 192.168.0.15, and press the connect button. And to the right is our status indicator. We also have a progress bar. So you can see we've connected to the test set. We're reading the configuration. We're reading all the software applications that are currently installed, and then all of the install licenses. So depending on how long, how big that is, how many of those are, then this could take just a few extra seconds. And you can see our progress bar here. And once we're done, you'll notice that our xconfig file is highlighted in yellow. The configuration file is saved in the, in the default folder C colon backslash users backslash, this is your login, your computer login, backslash documents backslash my 8960 configs. Notice that the file name is the serial number of your test set with the .xml extension. Do not edit or change this file in any way. You can now email this file to your Keysight representative who will then use it to advise you on what you need to purchase to obtain the functionality you need. I hope this video has been helpful. If you need further assistance, please contact our Technical Contact Center at 1-800-829-4444, and someone will be happy to assist you. Thanks, and have a great day.